again, and this is Prince Magnum, and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel. Welcome to Park Hills, Missouri. A very snowy Park Hills, Missouri. And yes, we are in the Project Maverick, Project Spirit. Right now, this weather sucks. Uh, basically, right now, this video is about driving in weather like this. Uh, I'm telling y'all right now, uh, we're going to see a lot of people on the on the shoulder, on the highway, you know, and believe it or not, you're going to see a lot of four-wheel drives off on the side of the road, hung up because they were driving stupidly. So this is going to be one of those informative videos where I'm going to tell you all what to do when you're driving in weather like this. Some of you might already know how to do it, but we're going to go through it anyways, uh, mainly for the younger ones. All right. First and foremost, if you've been, if you're a fan of this channel, you know that it's important to keep good tires on your vehicle. Okay, so you, if you've been, uh, if you've been taking care of your vehicle, good tires are a must. Okay. Uh, also, keep a set of jumper cables in your car. Okay. Cold weather's hard on batteries. A good set of jumper cables go a long ways. All right. If you have rear-wheel drive or a four-wheel drive truck, put lots of weight in the back if you can, okay? Um, if you're the industrious type of uh, rear-wheel drive owner, maybe you put air shocks on them and then you just let the air out of the air shocks and it transfers the weight to the back end. It's a pretty cool little thing. It's one of those really cool life hacks. And, uh... You'll hear me get kind of quiet because I'm having to concentrate because we're having to pull a very steep hill with a rear wheel drive car. Thankfully, we got good tires on the back long before the bad weather hit. So they've had about a couple weeks to get good and broke in and, uh, and that sort of thing. All right. Now, uh, make sure your vehicles are good and tuned up. Uh, things like that. And, uh, I think uh, I think the turtle, you know, in the in the story, the tortoise and the hare, uh, the tortoise has it right. Slow and easy wins the race. Okay, so if you've got a long trip ahead of you and you have to drive in this, or you're going to work, that sort of thing, do yourself a favor. Dry, uh, start out earlier. Don't drive like an idiot in this. You'll be on the side of the road. I don't care if you've got front wheel drive, four wheel drive, rear wheel drive, mid engine. I don't care. Drive like an idiot and you'll end up in the ditch, okay? Uh, now, I'm gonna tell y'all a little secret life hack uh, to help with weight in these cars. If you've got four-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive, I'll tell you a little secret, okay? Uh, keep your gas tank full, okay? Keep your gas tanks full, people. Uh, two reasons, one, the, uh, the, that'll give you some extra weight, having a full gas tank. Especially if you got a big gas tank, and I believe this one's got a 19-gallon tank, so that's we're in good shape there. Almost 20, actually. Uh, I think they said it was 19.2 gallons to be exact. But anyhow, uh, also uh, cold weather like this, condensation likes to form inside the gas tank, so it would make sense to keep. Uh, uh, to keep your gas tanks full because if you don't keep your gas tank full there's more room for condensation to build up and then water will get in your lines and then you'll have so much fun starting it the next day so do that and do yourself a favor on that okay um, you know drive sensibly drive sensibly if you're worried about traction issues there's an old life hack if you would drop about five to ten pounds of pressure out of your tires and it causes them to spread out a little bit and gives you better traction. Yes, we already did that on here. Um, you know, so those are just some really cool things to remember, all right? Uh, promise you, you know, I mean, you know, uh, promise you, you're gonna see a lot, you know, when we get to the highway, which we will be here just shortly, um, you know, we're, we're probably going to see a few vehicles on the side of the road, guaranteed. Yeah, see that idiot? He's, he's sliding a little bit. 
Uh, uh, real quick, a uh, couple things going on here. Uh, this is this is the first time in snowy weather uh, with Project Spirit. Get it the first. There we go. That three on the tree likes to give me a fit every now and again. Okay, feel how it slides? It starts sliding. Uh, this is where manuals really get to shine in this weather uh, because I get the enjoyment of throwing it up in the second and for some reason the higher gear just it just grips so much better uh, the other one just digs down too hard and uh, and it just spins in first but as soon as it hits as soon as I throw it up into second uh, we're just fine it, it grips and does exactly what it's supposed to and thankfully I spent a little bit of time doing the tune-up and everything which eventually y'all get to see those videos but, you know, I don't know what we'll call this video, but it's, it's you know, it's drive safe, people. Uh, and last but not least, uh, while I'm talking to y'all, uh, you know, I'm going to tell you all, if you do start to slide and you're driving, do me a favor. Don't panic. I know that's hard to say. I know that's hard to do. But do not panic. <coughs> Any extra jerky moves and things like that uh, will just make your situation worse. Okay. If you if you remember to try to remain as calm as possible, you're less likely to uh, throw it in the ditch. Okay. Keep calm as calm as you can. I'd say the old Maverick is doing fantastic in this weather. Fantastic. I'm really happy with how it's doing. Uh, couldn't, couldn't ask for more. Hopefully this video still doesn't end in disaster. But, you know, these things can happen. These, can, these things can happen. You know. Uh, you know, and I'm going to tell you straight up. Yeah, I'm supposed to work tomorrow. And that sort of thing. Uh, but if, uh, basically, if I see any ice at any point, I'm not going to work. I'm going to go home and they can, you know, work and jump in a lake. Uh, snow, I don't mind. Ice is a whole nother ball game, you know. Uh, be, you know, if you're driving in this stuff, be wary of black ice. Black ice can happen at any time. Black ice is basically a layer of ice that's on the road. You can't see it because it's just so thin. So do me a favor, drive slow, and you know, that sort of thing, drive slow. Um, like I said, you'll see people with front wheel drive, and especially four wheel drive, believe it or not, you'll see a lot of four wheel drive trucks uh, off, in the, you know, off in the ditch of this crap. And it's just because they think, oh, I got a four wheel drive, I can go anywhere, and they'll They'll pile it up every time. Uh, usually, uh, usually I'll see uh, about every snowstorm. I'll see it about a dozen, and they they wonder why they put it. They, you know, they uh, they buried their truck, and they're not going to get it out till fall. It's because they didn't play by the rules. You know, uh, matter of fact, uh, matter of fact, a friend of mine at work has got a two wheel drive truck, and he dropped a whole load of wood in the back of his truck to make sure he made it, Mark. You know, and uh, I hope he makes it okay. He was complaining that his tires weren't the greatest. So I hope he makes it. Worst comes worse, I may be back out there. You got a chain, buddy? I'll have to pull you out. <laughs> you know. Uh, you know, just be careful, people. You know, I'm sure the person behind me is wanting to throw a fit because, you know, I'm driving so slow, but the hell with them. I don't care if there's a gazillion cars behind uh, Project Spirit. You know, I am not about to jeopardize my life or the lives of anybody in the vehicle like my pregnant wife who's next to me just because someone wants me to go fast. And uh, that's very important to remember. Uh, let's see. I've gone over enough. Uh, 
Actually, there is one more thing I can tell you all. Uh, if you own an automatic, and it is, I don't, well, I don't care what it is. If you own an automatic, okay, and you start to spin and slide and things like that, uh, do me a favor. Okay, do me a cool favor. Now this this is one of those this is one of those life hacks that'll save your life possibly. Okay, if it starts to spin and slide, uh, do yourself a favor. Throw it into neutral. Okay, throw that sucker into neutral. Uh, it'll get the t it'll stop the power going to uh, the. Uh, It'll stop the power from going to the wheels, and if you get that power to stop, uh, especially on a rear-wheel drive vehicle or something like that, you'll do okay. Uh, especially on rear-wheel drive, because most people don't realize that when you push on the brakes, uh, you're getting, it's kind of a ratio. It's usually something like uh, a 70-30 ratio. Uh, basically, you know, if you were to push down the brake all the way, 70% of that, uh, of your stopping power is up front, 30% is in the back. Well, if you've got a four-wheel drive or a rear, basically if the power, in, if in some way, shape, or form the power goes to the rear wheels, uh, basically your tires will keep spinning, the front brakes are, are stopped, you know, are locked up but the back tires are still gonna be pushing you through. Put it into neutral, you can get that under control, okay? It's a little one of those cool life hacks, okay? Uh, and you know, here we are, Highway 67. Uh, we're doing actually 35 miles an hour. Uh, and I'm not gonna go any faster than that, okay? And bear in mind, we're, we are driving home from Farmington. We're just in Park Hills. Came out through the Deloge exit. Uh, well, the Deloge on-ramp. And now we're heading to Bonterre. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people probably sitting there going, well, that, that old Maverick's doing all right. But that's just because we're playing by the rules. Now, that's not to say that something couldn't happen. Okay. But if you remember, you know, drive slow, take it easy, that sort of thing, you should be okay. Uh, it looks like Modot's doing a fantastic job trying to get the roads clear, but you know, <coughs> you know, still watch out for black ice. Black ice can happen at any time. Um, and I know this is mostly a rambling video and that sort of thing, uh, but mostly. Uh, uh, my wife gets really nervous. She had an accident with our 2001 uh, Pontiac uh, Grand Prix what, about, what, about three years ago, wasn't it, honey? Mm -hmm. And uh, she uh, she got really nervous, you know, and so when weather like this hits, she gets nervous and scared. And uh, basically, this video is more or less to keep her occupied so she's not so nervous, you know. Uh, that sort of thing. So yeah, right now uh, this the, the manual is doing a fantastic job uh, getting us home. Uh, Y'all get to see uh, how it looks at home, that sort of thing. But you know what? Um, normally I wouldn't do that, but you know what? We're going to do it anyways today. I don't care. I mean, it's the middle of the night. I mean, yeah, you know, if you you know looked hard enough, you'd be able to come over and annoy me half to death. But, you know, I'll just ask if you watch this video and that sort of thing and you, you know where I live then and that sort of thing, uh, don't come over and harass me, you know, but if you want to come over and talk, you're welcome to and I don't care who you are, okay? Uh, this is for information, you know, this is for education, you know, uh, that sort of thing. And uh, if, it, if, if showing this video you know, basically jeopardizing my, per, you know, my personal life, my anonymity, and all that stuff. And AA. keep somebody alive. It was well worth it. You know, you know. No, I'm not turning there. <laughs> what 
next exit. I'm so used to turning there. Uh, normally, I take that exit, but some of the hills where we live are probably going to be pretty treacherous. Uh, but we're going to find out. We're going to find out when we get there. Uh, last winter, we tried to do this with Project Beauty, and boy, that turned bad. Uh, we, we ditched her. We, we ended up, yeah, she started pulling up the hill, didn't have enough momentum. Her being an automatic, we slid backwards, and it kind of ended off in the ditch. Yeah, that, that was no fun. I mean, the tires were okay on the back, but they weren't that okay, you know. They weren't good enough for snow. Good enough for wet weather, but not for snow. Uh, we tried it, but we didn't make it. So we had a heck of a time getting around the next day. Thankfully, a gentleman, a nice gentleman with a with a pickup came along, hooked the chain to her. We pulled her out. She was fine. Drove it on home. All right, the Bond Terror Terror to Lack exit right here. So this is where we're going to get off at. And you know, again, again, you know, drive slow, drive easy. You know, might take you like a hundred years to get there, but you know what? It's one of those things. Would you rather, would you rather uh, get there quickly, or would you rather get there alive? Yeah, they haven't hardly touched this exit. All right, we're gonna downshift to second. We're gonna let the transmission do a lot of the work for us. Also, if you have a vehicle that still has the old school brakes, you know, it doesn't have ABS, do not panic. Go engage the clutch and plan your stops early too. Uh, if you got old school brakes that doesn't have ABS, don't worry, you'll be fine in this weather. Uh, just gently pump them a little bit. You don't have to. Don't, don't jam, don't slam on the brakes. Even with ADS, don't slam on the brakes. Gently pump them. If you start slamming on the brakes, it'll cause the car to slide even worse. You don't know why, it's just the way it is. It locks up the wheels, they won't. Fun part's gonna be getting up that hill.
think my wife's a little bit beside herself. alive and safe in weather like this I hope you know if, if you know if you're a young person getting out in this weather for the first time do me a favor do me a big 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 favor drive safely with all that being said nobody's told you that they love you Prince Magnum does God bless you and have a happy 24th thank you